we've got we've got Patrick over here, everyone. Patrick Patrick is of course a very fast speed cuber. Uh world record holder. Uh let's see. More more importantly, color neutral. He's color neutral. That's why he's here. Um yeah. he switched to color neutral from blue green. And uh Patrick, what was your what was your method for switching to color neutral? Uh brute force. Brute force. So what 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 was that like? First of all, like how fast were you before you switched to color neutral and then what was your method? I, would, I was sub seven already. What do you home. mean? So you mean like you were you were consistently sub seven? Yeah. And comp I had a seven point one average already. Okay. So, yeah. So that's like that's about where I was a, like a year ago, I'd say. Uh, oh, you're like not that fast right now. No, because I'm way out of practice. Been playing too much Tetris, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I could get back to that level with a few weeks of of practice. Um, right. But I guess um, the but yeah, the goal is to okay. So. Oh wow! Thank you so much, Langston, for a thousand bits. Wow, appreciate it. Um, so, so you did brute force. So, what was that like? Um. So yeah. So the week after Worlds, I just cheated nonstop, pretty much. I think. Sorry for any background noise. That was twenty seventeen, right? Um. I don't know, like eight hour days for like a week. Eight hours. Oh my god. Like ridiculous, like very unhealthy amount of salts. Uh huh. But um that's what I did. I didn't like filter out by doing a color a day. I just right. picked the best stuff every time. Right. And there was no like rhyme or reason to it. Like I just thought that would be the best way. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't go to any forums asking or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I tried doing that for a minute, and I feel like I got to the level where I could sometimes do well, but most of the time, like, I, I think I did uh, maybe 3,000 solves over, like, two or three days, so okay. maybe, I didn't I didn't quite get there, not, not to the full week, but... Yeah. To, for me, it's it seemed like... I was always having trouble deciding if I was going to do white yellow or not do white yellow. And that was like oh, really distracting, which is why I've decided to do this blue, green, orange, red thing. Right. Just for, well, yeah. I don't know if you're going to like, I think if you're just going to do anything, just like stick to that mm -hmm. and like switch it up mm -hmm. because I don't know, it's like all mind games, right? So if yeah, like, for sure. Not, not confident on what you're doing then mm -hmm. then um i don't know it could mess up your progress yeah i'm just I trying for me it was yeah. just like i just had that goal mm -hmm. and then like childishly did solves until i reached my goal right? so how long do you think it took you to get to that like the level where you were performing better in competition well i mean i only went like between worlds and the first comp I went to, there was only like one month. Right. Okay. And that was the comp after Worlds is where I got the world record single. Okay. So, like, <laughs> yeah, like I was I was caught up by that. Yeah. You know? Was that Yellow Cross? Or... Yeah. Yellow so, Cross. Work. <laughs> wow. Well. I so guess... yeah, it, so minimum like two weeks, maximum a month, because. Uh -huh. I would say definitely by that competition I was prepared. Okay. But uh, I was solving to that level by a decent like amount of time. Like just the sheer number of solves I did was enough to carry me. Mhm. Mm and you didn't have any I, problems with uh, with like lack of confidence because you were just dialed in on all the colors at the same time. Right? Yeah, for sure, and. I don't know, I think, and for, like, competing, I never had an issue of, like, oh, this orange cross is easy, but I'm going to stick to blue and green because it's safer. Right. Like, yeah, I have a pretty risky, like, solving style, so mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't I've, have life for I've noticed that. You do have some pretty varied results. Oh, yeah. I'm you have, like, a lot of very <laughs> low six averages and then, like, a bunch of eight averages. It's yeah. all over the place. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. See, I'm more of a, I'm more of the type of person that gets all like mid to low seven averages, and so like right. I, I I lose out on the peak, but I try not to get anything bad, and that's probably why I have so much trouble with this uh, high risk, color neutral decision. Yeah, but I think like to make major improvements, like yeah, this, I have like, to take you high need risk. To, like risk it really hard. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, you have to be like content with losing that bit of consistency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Like, I think it's definitely possible to do what I did and still be consistent. Yeah. There's, there's people like Bill that, like, are just super, super consistent. Mm -hmm. And they're like, called neutral. And Fung Yuk Nam is, like, similar to me. He switched and when he was already fast, and he's super consistent as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, uh, conversely, like, they have very solid cubing competition like mentalities so that might be another factor to consider what do you mean by that like what are their mentalities like um they're super like ritualistic and like uh -huh. don't deviate from like their mindset like when they're they're competing like they're very like in their own world like you can tell it's something like they've yeah they've uh they've like come up with over the years mm -hmm. i definitely developed something like that during my sub seven challenge, that's that's what really enabled me to crack the mental yeah. barrier. And I, I guess yeah, you kind of create this your own world, and so like people are talking to you, and it's kind of hard to hear them. Yeah, I, I yeah, I guess I became very socially inept when I was in that state, but I guess it's a small I mean, yeah, it's, small it's price to pay. You know, some, some people are able to do it and still be able to like talk to other people. Yeah, I mean I can talk, but like. Not very aware. Anyways. Yeah. Like for me, I think like talking in the competitor area is like very important because uh -huh. it helps distract me from the competition. Whereas like a lot of people like to like stay in well, the corner and not I find that it's much. it really depends what the topic is. Like I can I, I don't like not talking. Yeah. But I also don't like certain types of conversation. It needs to be like just it can't be too mentally stimulating, otherwise I might actually oh. the, the, continue the thinking. The thing I hate the most, like, my biggest pet peeve at comps is, like, you just done a solve, and then, like, people are asking what you got. Right. Like, that's so, that's so silly to me, like, mm -hmm. just gonna be on cube comps, or, like, oh, WCA Live now, in, like, like literally five minutes. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think it matters. Right, well, I guess it's it's one of those questions you can kind of ask to anybody, even if you yeah. don't know them, and it's, like, a question they definitely have an answer to. I get maybe. Yeah. Well, I think it's like it's not like it's like a conversation set or anything. You know, yeah. it's like I think a lot of people at the top, like like you're like at Worlds or Nats, like. No, you don't ask if so, what somebody got. Game, like, people. That would be absurd. Yeah. Yeah. So like most of the top people know, like I don't, I'm not into that, and yeah. they'll avoid talking about that stuff when they're talking to me, uh -huh. which is like nice, but it was definitely like not like. From like 2016, when I like wasn't as well known, like people, I was like made fun of for stuff like that because like I think I was one of the first few people to like be against. Oh, that. very interesting. But yeah, I think it's like you know, like I always use this example of people like like in chess. Um, mm -hmm. Carlson is like someone that really enjoys looking at other games and mm -hmm. you know like distracting himself while he's like playing. Mm -hmm. and like keeping track of other people's points and stuff well it's, it just gets I, boring i mean if you play yeah. like when i play chess tournaments there's just not that much to think about sometimes right you know and, and like, i can imagine for carlson like, like he already like, knows the yeah, next 10 moves he doesn't need to yeah what? Yeah, but I think it's just a different mentality thing because people like Anon, who's also very successful, like yeah, yeah. definitely did not like talking to anyone mm -hmm. and like staying in the corner. So I get, yeah, you have, to, you have to pick what you what you're into. Yeah, the and some people are like depends on the day. Mm. Yeah, but like back to like actual solving. Uh -huh. There's no like real like 
way to train for this kind of thing. Did you did you have any problems like so you did this brute force thing? Did you yeah. have any uh, any insights from doing that, or it was just kind of like not really no. because I wasn't like like I was already decently efficient, right? You know, like like I wasn't doing any super like you know there's people that like do one color like like Philip. Right. And he, Just like, every pair is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't like that. Like my TPS was high, but it wasn't it wasn't like I was making decisions like he does in 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 F two O. Mm -hmm. So like it was just a matter of just doing that, but on different colors, as opposed to completely changing up how I saw. Yeah. Um. Like the the first. The first day, I, I I texted Bill, and we went through, like, a couple, like, he would send me a scramble, and then, like, he'd tell me what he'd do. Oh, that's like, interesting. He'd give me, like, a baseline. Uh-huh. But it, after, like, a couple solves, I realized that it wasn't really that much different as so, opposed to just doing it normally. So you did, you did a thousand time solves per day? Um, Yeah. Something like that. Okay. And eight hours, so you know. Eight hours. So that's yeah, that's like about a thousand like, solves. Yeah. It's also like not crazy, like like that's like what, like a just over a hundred solves per hour. Mm hmm not it's, a lot. It's a normal pace. Yeah. But I mean the the, the amount is a lot, but like if mm -hmm. you actually the time to do 100 solves it would be well under an hour so yeah for sure it was like it was decently spread out mm -hmm. and um but still like that entire week was only that and it was the summer so it's not like i had any other obligations yeah your camera's frozen by the way oh um um is it better now yeah it's better uh what was I gonna say? Yeah, I feel like my yeah, good, good. my efficiency is not as bad as Philip Vires, but it's not good either. I think you're pretty high. Yeah, but I mean, once I was looking at some of these solves, it's just like I don't know. I I make some weird decisions, yeah. and I'm not sure it's if like, it's a niche thing. Yeah. Like I have this weird thing that I do in a lot of my solves where the last move of the cross kind of sets up the first move of the pair or like sets up the first pair. Mm -hmm. And like, that's like really, like that's like one of my like things. Like I, I don't see a lot of other people doing that. And I noticed you pointing that out a couple times when you reconstruct some of my solves. Um, yeah. Like I do a lot of weird D moves to set up stuff. Yeah. But um, I guess my my background, I I used to uh, have real problems with going for ridiculously, uh, like out of the way cross like X cross solutions. Oh really? So, I, I mean, I guess the way I transitioned away from that is just just what I don't know. <laughs> I I guess it's it's just not being to yeah. realizing that there is a trade-off between s TPS and efficiency. I bet also, like, you just, like, learn how to use inspection, right? Yeah, that's that's also what it is. Like, were you doing, when you're doing those thousand solves, what was your inspection time progression like? Oh, no, no inspection time. <laughs> no inspection time? Yeah. Why did you do it that way? Were you just practicing F2L? Oh, because I just, I just couldn't be bothered to, like do that like my main objective was to just make sure I was picking the best cross every time so like if that took 10 seconds if that took like okay. a first glance like I didn't care right I rarely practice like with inspection well I, I don't practice with inspection at all yeah which is probably a problem but. I mean I don't know I've never had issues with it in comp yeah but um, I was gonna touch on something. Um, I forgot. Yeah, in the past, I was like, 
when I was doing blue green, there was a time where like my inspection time would be like literally like two seconds in comp. Wow. Like I just put the cube down and just go, which okay. was uh, really bad. And I would yeah. never look for first pair and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but then like, I, it was like, I don't know if you ever knew Billy Berrier. No, I didn't. But uh, him and like Jabari, Nerudin, I'm sure you know. Yeah. Um, we, they like, like pointed it out and they were like, you should like really like <laughs> fix her. And then I kind of just like, I guess like was bored and decided, you know, maybe they're right. And that like drastically <laughs> like improved my So goals. it was just the, the thinking about it that changed your, your habit? Yeah. Mm. I mean, now, I like, I'd say I can see like even second pair, like 80% of the time. Wow. So, you know, it's like, you definitely can change. And could you see second pair when you were doing, like, just green, blue? Only if it was, like, like not out of the way, you know? Right, okay. I think, because, like, when I inspect, I tend to, I tend to inspect for pairs and, like, build, like, solve the cross based on the pairs. Yeah. Is that is what like you do good. as well? Yeah. Okay. So I guess you would yeah. find the first pair, or set any pairs, I guess. Just kind of solve around them. I think when like I first pick up a cube, I kind of just like look for blocks mm -hmm. or like easy to make blocks, and then yeah. try to find a cross out of that. Yeah, that's what I do as well. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like your your efficiency is good enough to the point where switching to CN isn't a matter of switching up your solving style. It's uh, just doing what you do on white yellow on every color. Yeah. Because like people that like like Phil Vire, <laughs> Yeah, Phil Vire is the best think, example. I don't think there's any point in him switching to CN because no. he wouldn't do him. No, he wouldn't be any better. Yeah. It's not like it's not like his solves require easier pairs. Yeah. It's not like he's looking for that anyways. Yeah. Fun fact, uh Lucas did not look for first pair in the four ninety. In the four ninety? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I I have uh when I'm nervous, I almost never look at first pair. Like in the, in big comps, I always just I I struggle I struggle for like twelve seconds just to find a cross, <laughs> like something I would do in two seconds at home. So I don't know I don't know how to fix that. One thing I do, which is terrible, like terrible habit, is like I'll find like a decent solution, and then I'm like, all right, let's go look for something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you forget the solution that you found. And then like, you can't find it. That happens all the time. Yeah. It's tough. Alright, let's chat dude. Chat. Chat, any questions? Yeah, I can ask questions. I can answer questions. Oh, how's your coaching? How's your coaching going? You, you didn't you start coaching? Yeah. It's been like actually really hard. Yeah. Like I feel bad. I have to make people wait a while. Uh -huh. It's like a personal thing. But uh, the ones I have been able to get to have been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't have too much customer feedback right now. So yeah. But yeah, like it's definitely like I try to be personal as personal as I can, you know, and mm -hmm. really try to focus on what exactly that person wants. So like one of the first questions I ask is what the person's goal is because. You know, my answer could, or like my analysis will really be centered on, you know, achieving that. Right. Um, and I think I'm pretty good at that. I think I'm pretty good at like um, evaluating someone and, and um, like seeing what they can and can't do. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Never you have, like, you already know this. Well, yeah, I've, I've been like, doing it for a while. Yeah, I mean, 
what's interesting is that when I watch a lot of slower cubers, especially in like the 9 to 14 second range, I find that they usually have a lot of F12 solutions I'm just not aware of. Like right. A lot of algs that I just never considered. Yeah. And it's it's very interesting. Like sometimes I learn new new stuff from just looking at the solves. Cuz I feel like yeah. I I just something, got yeah. Yeah, something like like that kind of like reminded me of like when I started cubing like I would just like YouTube search walkthrough solves and then I would look at any walkthrough solves like yeah. If the person after like 30 seconds I would still watch it, you know. Mm -hmm. and, because I, it like, most, and I wouldn't do yeah. anything. Like I wouldn't do while doing that. I would just look at the person and see what they did. Mm -hmm. I feel like I gained a lot from that. It seems like most people have unique things that they're doing in their, in their solves. Yeah. All right. So how much difference does CN actually make? I thought it only saves one move on average. Well, for you know, at this for level, cross. <laughs> yeah, but at this level, yeah. <laughs> no, it makes it no because. Because it's not about the cross. I mean, Philip yeah. Vire, Philip Vire does cross very quickly, but it's about the first and second pair planning. Yeah. Uh, I got into cubing like most people. I got curious, looked it up on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, really? Um, hmm. um, how and why? Oh, I guess I just answered that. Um, do I plan two pairs? Um, I try to at home a lot because I see a lot of value in that. But in comp, like I don't prioritize that because I want to get under 15 seconds inspection. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if I see it, I'll go for it. Like mm -hmm. I'll risk that. It is definitely a risk. Mm -hmm. It's easy to miss see things. The next thing to learn after oil and PO. Uh, F two L. <laughs> That's good advice. <laughs> no, um, just like depends on what you average. Like the... I wasn't even sub thirty when I knew, or I was like barely sub thirty when I knew full old on PLL. Really? So, yeah. Wow. I didn't learn that until I was at like fifteen seconds, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember. I actually I didn't finish learning full OLL until like twenty eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like a few years ago, I was watching an average of yours, and it was like fast. It was like seven average or twelve or something. And you had this jank. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was probably too luck. <laughs> you felt like risk. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know any any algs like for this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this this case right here. God. I did I did this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I didn't learn the replacement until I think I think Andy Denny or Drew Brad showed it to me at Nats twenty eighteen. <laughs> I mean if you have to hold it, right? Well, I guess yeah. If you don't get the alg, you don't get punished for being bad, but true, true. Yeah. Uh, I had reached sub fifteen. What channel did you go beyond? So you go to my YouTube channel and uh, you see my latest video about coaching. And uh, oh, that's a good good tip. Yep. Go get coaching from Patrick. You don't have to feel obliged. Um, what are you studying in college? I'm gonna go to study philosophy. In philosophy. Wow. Yeah. And Philip doesn't go to college. I don't. <laughs> I tried that. It was interesting. What? Uh, what's the last algae you learned? Oh, me? Yeah, the one I taught you. The one you taught me, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Sorry, I cut you off. What were you saying about college? Oh, I, just, I said it all. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. What were, you, what were you doing while you were there? Uh... Well, I was I was taking a lot of uh, like math and comp sci. It's probably why I didn't like it. Yeah, math is rough. I mean, it's at, it's at the level. Yeah, it's like it took too much effort to do well. Yeah. 
And you're you're at McGill, right? Yeah. It was like I'm I'm more interested in other stuff right now. I don't know. Yeah. I mean I think college is overrated as hell. For so. sure. <laughs> Philosophy is interesting though. And does that even yeah, I'm only doing it because it's like something I actually like, am passionate about. Yeah. Like if I was forced to do it, I wouldn't bother going, you know? Yeah. For just, sure. yeah just find other ways to make a living. Mm -hmm. um, questions. What's the best way to break bad habits? Uh, change them? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm? I struggle with this. Breaking too. bad habits? Uh, find alternative habits. I don't know. Yeah, so it's really hard because, like, once you get into, like, doing something a lot, like, breaking the cycle is really hard. Um, but I think, like, the brute force method really, at least in, in my case, works. Not only for CN, but for other stuff, too. Yeah, brute force is interesting, though, because I feel like it only works for a very small number of people. Yeah, I think you have to have a discipline to do it. Mm -hmm. And... And I think there's a lot going on in your subconscious that that may be built on a lot more than just this brute force thing. Yeah. Like, we're, like, like memory is so weird with people. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, super hard. Like, if you do something for, like, years and you want to, like, do something differently in regards to the way you've already done it for years, it's, like, it's a bit backwards. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like... I don't know how to, like, tell someone to do that if they haven't done it in the past. Mm -hmm. And I think just trying and, like, not succeeding it could also be, like, a helpful learning experience anyways. So just try. <laughs> try. Try and not succeed. Yeah. That's a helpful answer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um. I mean, if you want to learn VLS or ZB, then learn VLS or ZB. Like, there are people fast that use it, and there are people that are fast that don't use it. <laughs> when are you going to upload a profile pic? <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Wait, I is, always told myself. Is it orange or pink? Is it still pink? I don't know. It's gray? Blank. Blank, it's yeah. It's been the same since I made the account. Yeah. Um, I think it's orange. But I just would never, oh, yeah. All right. So I told myself, if I ever get into, like, making content on the regular, uh, that I'll, I'll upload a profile picture. So it's, it's like a, it's a, war, it's like a, you're, you're making it clear to your audience that you're not actually a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And I think it's pretty evident when you, when you come across my, my channel page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. I, I'm not revealing which university I'm going to until, like, I'm there. Logical choice. Mm. But it's, I'm leaving the Northeast. <laughs> I've already said that. Um, Patrick being a YouTuber, funny joke. Okay. No, Brandon, I'm leaving the Northeast, so you have, oh. to, you have to get really good so that you can take my spot. You know Brandon? What? Do I Do know, you know Brandon? Not, not in person. He's in my chat a lot. Well, yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, he's one of those silly people that does the yeah uh, on big cubes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Please know I can't be good. Wait, how old is Patrick? How are you? Like seventeen, eighteen? Are you 18 now? Yeah. Patrick is like half a year younger than me, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, how do you learn to know OLL two to three moves in advance? I don't Ooh, know what that means. Practice. Well, you don't predict OLL? I'm sure you do. Oh, oh, he's talking about prediction. Yeah. Also, why is this thing keep freezing? I mean, I guess you could just you could just practice uh, from like position like this. I mean, um, prediction, yeah, it's like practice. Mm -hmm. I never like trained it though. Yeah, me neither. 
But it, it, it helps if you're not spamming TPS so fast that you can't see anything. Right. So doing untimed solves helps a lot, I think. Um, oh, Benway is also thinking of switching. Interesting. I mean, I don't know. See, I think Yale is one of those, like, switching would be, like, a really hard thing. Switching. So, like, if I was really yeah. motivated to, I could do it. But I'm mm. not really motivated to do it. Also, I think that, too, like, you have to be, like, obviously, if you want to switch that habit, you have to be extremely motivated to do it. So Linkson staying, I don't spam TPS ever, so my look ahead should be redonk, but it's not. Well, I think I think uh something you may not have considered is that because you're doing time solves all the time, you're probably having trouble seeing because I don't know. When I do time solves, it's like, okay, I gotta finish. Finish fast. So you should mm. probably do a lot more on time solves. What do you think, Patrick? Dude, look ahead is one of those like mystery things that I just have no idea. I mean, how people get good at it. Yeah, I f I feel like almost every really good look ahead person I've talked to says that they've spent a lot of time messing around and just like yeah. developing an understanding of the cube. Yeah, I think like spending time without the pr time pressure, you know. Yeah, just like learning about like the mechanics. Mm -hmm. Like looking your night out on your own. Yeah. But um, I know like people, people struggle with look ahead like for most of their career. Mm -hmm. Like I think it's one of those things that like it's one of those like natural talent things. Yeah. Well, I guess the like, problem is that everyone that's good at it got good at it by natural talent. So yeah, there's no method developed know. for. Yeah. I know, like, I use a lot of analogies, but I was com I would compare it to, like, in running, like, not everyone's, like, stride is the same. Mm -hmm. Something like that, where, like, it's just different for every person. Similar to, like, turning styles. Mm -hmm. um, what's better than Yao? <laughs> not qualified to answer that. <laughs> I'm like decent at five by five, and my six by six and seven by seven are really bad. So there you go. You're decent at six by six too. Definitely not. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. Nah, Brandon could crush me. Um. What is Brandon like? Know, one thirty or something? I don't know. I just know he's good. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Rue? I I do know Rue. I can do it like ten, eleven seconds. Um, yes, college show is worth it. <laughs> That's unless why we're doing the CN challenge. Unless you're Philip Byer. Unless, unless you're literally Philip Byer. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Whatever. Etter? You think Lucas Etter would... I feel like yeah. Lu Lucas is fairly efficient. Yeah, he also has a lot of last layer, Alex. Right. Which would be hard That's to transition cool. to other colors. Yeah. Did you yeah, have I would, did you have problems with I that? Oh, with uh transitioning algorithm condition? Uh I think that was just covered by the solves. Because uh -huh. I don't I've never been one to like drill PLOs or OLOs. No, not not those, but like ZBLs. No, I don't think so. Do you know like Z Hard to recognize ZBLs or just the easy ones? I know like I know like I know like two hundred fifteen ZBLs. All right, and there's just like a good mix of stuff in there. Like there are still some easy ones I don't know, and there's like some really hard ones that I know for probably like chance, you know? Yeah. Well, I all of my algs I know by people telling me that I should do it. Like you just yeah. did today. Like I learned three new algs. There you go. That's like, that's how I learn all my algs. I should just get. Yeah. I should just I'm get good cubers on my stream. 
I see like Felix or like someone solves and then like they do an alley. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to learn that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just so tiring to go look at a database of, of Alex. I don't know. I, I find there that very some, like Alex I've actually come up with by hand that are like really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, all, all my by, by hand Alex are bad. Like those OLLs, the janky OLLs, those were all original creations. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I discovered it this this L Z V L that I used in my seven oh six O H. Mm-hmm. And I, like nobody else knew it and it was like literally like optimal. And it was so funny because the alg before had like some stupid, like slow, wide moves. And I thought it was just so funny when um when I like showed it to people and they were like shocked. Let's see. Let's take a look at this um, one. Oh yeah, I was gonna answer your question. Um, I would, I would definitely coach events like OH because, like, I consider myself to be pretty decent at OH. Um, <laughs> Literally the best. Stuff okay. like, like I wouldn't coach six or seven, but I, or like two by two. Okay, that's this is a. This is, I'm answering this wrong. I would pretty much only consider coaching like three through five in OH because. Um, Wait, how did nobody find this alg? <laughs> right. It's so simple. You can see all the blocks. You could just figure it out. <laughs> Does nobody do untimed solves? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. I also thought it's like I guess, because it's Do like you use it? Do you use it for two hand? It seems like it wouldn't be optimal for two hand. No, no, no. I do the 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 wide move one. The wide move. Uh, so like holding it. How do you have it? Hold it with like the. There you go. Like from there, just do like wide R. U two R two. What? Um, wait. What is the? Well, I I do this. I do U prime. I just do it from the back. With like a J prime sort of thing. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, I don't know what it. Is. Yeah, there's there's two ways. It's, it's it's all pretty similar. Anyways, it's interesting. There's just a lot of undeveloped algs. Yeah. So like, you think it's better to practice two pair a hundred percent of time? Wouldn't that better be a better use of time than learning full CN? I mean, you can t you can kill two birds with one stone. For sure, it's much easier to do two pairs if you can do CN. Yeah, but like, the easiest way to plan two pairs is to pick the easiest two pairs. <laughs> yeah, but you can have like this really convoluted yellow cross and have two pairs, or you can have like a one move blue cross with no pairs and it'd be better to do blue yeah. cross. For yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is your favorite algorithm for each set you know? Oh boy, that's a deep, uh, involved question. It's involved. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have favorite algorithms. It is a weird question, definitely. I've always been puzzled by it. Like, yeah. do, what do you want me to say? The easiest algorithms, like, yeah, there's definitely objectively faster ones, right? Least, and there are ones that are that are like fluid, yeah, quick. I don't know. I guess developing preferences is probably not helpful. Favorite. Oh wait, is this is this the Sandy that that is one of my clients? Sandy. Yeah. Pretty sure that's one of my clients. Nice. I think Sandy did it say earlier that they couldn't wait for their analysis. Oh, there you go. So probably yeah. All right. Well, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll see how this uh, this color neutral thing goes. I guess I set myself a goal that I think is like extremely doable.
So I guess, I don't know. I don't really want to do only cubing, like only speed cubing practice. Right, of course. Because, that'd be silly. <laughs> it, I don't know, it just seems like... No, there's definitely better things to do with your time. Well, but it's just a high, it's a high risk way to approach it, because if it doesn't work, well then it was a waste of time. Yeah, but like, I don't know, I, I structure my practice around competitions, so like... But there are no competitions. For me, coming. doing something like that would be like, kind of pointless. With no, with no comps. Yeah. But um, yeah, especially you, if you're like you're juggling a bunch of hobbies right now. <laughs> Too many hobbies. I haven't played much chess recently. I got a lot worse because I haven't practiced. I don't know, maybe I could actually put up a fight now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play a chess game? Sure. Maybe later. All right. Um, um, that N B perm, they're all bad. <laughs> they're all bad. Is N B the one? Uh, which one is N B? It's like. Is it it's this not one? The last one. Is it this one? It's not the J perm one. It's the other one. Yeah, I do this from the side. Yeah, that's one of the ways. Just because I didn't have to learn any alg for it. That's the reason I use that one. <laughs> I use like an RUF one. Yeah. I think Jay last summer came up with one that was pretty decent. And, you know, if you care about having optimal PLO, I would, I would go about learning that one. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It has like a wide U move. It's, I don't know, it's J. <laughs> it's a J alg. Right. I don't use I don't I don't have a six by six. You don't have one? No. I like lost it out of comp or something. Just like really Oh, do you have a square one? I don't think so. No? I I uh, used like, I used I to have a square one. one, but I, I don't have a square one anymore. I have this Unfortunately. One, but, uh, we'll <laughs> have better days. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because I'm like top 70 in the world or something like that. Well, you got first in world's semis, right? 2017? Nats, semis, yeah. Oh, Nats? Hmm. Which I also didn't own a square one. Right. Summer of 2017. Wait, didn't I use your square one? Yeah, anymore? you used my square one at worlds. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a square one anymore. <laughs> Dang, did I lose it? No, I think I lost it. I probably gave it to someone. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, like before every round that year, I would like ask someone. <laughs> can I use your square one? I'm like yeah. the best person at this comp. Can I? Can I please use it? There you go. I made the final of that worlds too. You remember. did. Yeah. Quite impressive. All right. There you go. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like answer like a few more questions and all. So. Patrick, so responsible. Uh, I take care of like the cues I care about. Yes. Um, um, there's a T perm variation. How good are you at chess? Dude, I'm terrible at chess. You were, uh, what were you rated? Like, you were rated like maybe 900 when I played you last time. Something like that. You're probably better than that. I, I think know. I'm rated like 1300 on Lee Chess. Oh, on Lee Chess. Okay. So you've yeah. improved. You've improved a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I've, I've been watching a lot of chess. Actually. Oh, I watch so much chess. Just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, when, once you w start watching too many things, you get the feeling that maybe you should be doing something productive with it, so yeah. that's why I started playing Tetris, I was like, uh, I can't just be watching five hours of Tetris every week, like, I need to actually play. <laughs> I think you're, you're calling me out there, buddy. <laughs> I've never, never played Tetris. You've never I've played? Well, I actually started playing because I was really bored on stream. 
like my friend was doing a, a pedaminx solve. What? <laughs> so <laughs> it was like a two day stream and uh, I was bored <laughs> so I just started playing Tetris. Yeah. There you go. Do you know how to solve a clock? I, I uh, at my last, not my last call, like in January, uh, my good friend Ava taught me how to solve a clock. Nice. And uh, it was mind blowing how easy it was. Yeah, isn't it just a like a a, a process like it's like you solve a step cross by step solve a middle cross. Yeah. I already forgot it, but like Yeah, I know I I learned I learned how to solve a cross for about 10 minutes one time. <laughs> yeah. I think it was like 2016. So the answer is no, but like for 30 minutes, yeah. How long did best RBC event is three by three? Yeah, that's true. Least favorite event? I don't know. Every event has its good attributes, yeah. except for the ones that don't. Oh, uh, it's true. <laughs> Which for me is a lot of them. <laughs> Imagine having to learn. Oh man, that's not good. Um, favorite uh... sports: cubing, chess. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> my my favorite sports in order are Tetris, uh, chess, and then cubing. <laughs> I don't like that order. What? I don't have that order. No, but that's my order. Tetris actually, is actually the. Um, yeah, you gotta I really go. Like water sports. What? Um, I actually I really like water sports. Like water sports. Sailing, sailing or rowing. Uh -huh. I think those are pretty cool. Um, do you do sailing rowing? Or? Yeah, I, I sail. Well, you used to sail. Ethically canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was, uh, I was a varsity sailor <laughs> because I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you ever just miss your senior season? But yeah, sailing is fun. Um, spectator sport, probably like. I watch the World Cup, but like, doesn't really count because it's every four years. Yeah. Um, how long take for you to become sub ten? Officially, like, about two years. Yeah, me too. And then, maybe like, six months before that. It's like a year and a half. Imagine learning how to do an event from Ava. Yeah. Cross on front, cross on back, finish the rest. There you go. That's how you solve clock. Mm. Do you have any favorite books? Yeah. I have my little library in the back. But I haven't been reading a lot recently because um, I've been watching Philip play Tetris. <laughs> This is how Patrick Ponce uses his time. Yeah. He just watches me play a video game. <laughs> and Dude, I'm all... There's a, of, what? there's a lot of really young, fast cubers in the Northeast. I don't know what Brandon's on about. Cubers? Yeah. Well, you can move to Ohio. Like, we have a lot of young, fast cubers. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Ohio is crazy. It's like the fastest state, right? Yeah. But also because we're right next to Michigan and Indiana, and like, so there's people, there's a lot at of all of our local comps, we have Luke Garrett, Blake Thompson, Rami, I'm there, Andy, Drew, like, just everyone is there. So. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fixing my, fixing my being dumb again. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, that's nuts. <laughs> Which is, I think that's why I have so much trouble with these high risk plays, because I really like winning the competition, <laughs> and I can't win the competition if I get an eight average. I need, yeah. I need like a low seven, like at, at most. So I should have guests every stream. Okay, well, <laughs> this isn't very organized, but yeah, for sure. I think it would be fun fun to do like like a head-to-head -head matches 
with cubers. But I don't know how oh, I would dude, organize. Like, uh, I think yesterday there was like an elimination competition where like twenty people got into Discord. It's just like you did a round, and and like the slowest person got kicked out. Like oh, that's interesting. <laughs> best of one. And then like, they, like it just got like it was pretty fun. Like uh -huh. stuff like that. Also, isn't there isn't the keeping at home like tomorrow? No, it's or it's the next week. It's next week. I think it's yeah. it's in exactly a week. Well, to be honest, that was like not really fun. Cubing at home? Yeah, it yeah. was way too long. And yeah, like, way too like much time. All cubing, which is not really fun. And I I was live streaming that, so you know, I, I was you know I was actually pretty pretty relieved when I didn't qualify for the finals. <laughs> 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 I was like. Yay. That's a, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to watch it this time around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to do some commentary. I think I'll just do I'll just do Megaminx. Mm -hmm. If I can get in practice. Um. What's crazy is that Leo Borromeo won, and it was like 7 a.m. when that guy was doing his final round. I don't understand. Oh, my dude was pumped. Did he stay up the whole night? I mean, yeah, dude, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure at his age, I would, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> it's just insane. Like, when I was that age, I was like, keeping was my life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it still is. When but... You were, wait, but he's like 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, true. When I, was 12, I think I, was... I did, yeah, I think I did like eight hours a day when oh, I was yeah. 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as I turn like 14, I stop cubing entirely. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I just do like maybe like 10, uh, maybe five hours a week. I don't know. I don't do that much. I guess I, pr I probably did a lot. I think I stopped improving once I stopped going to school because I didn't have, my habit was like to practice between things in school. And like, okay. I guess I just stopped practicing. Because all my practice was in between stuff at school, so yeah, got to got to make those new habits. Yeah, that's why I do these is that, challenges. Is that like really weird going to school? What? Not going, going to, school? to school? Going to school? Or like being in school is that really weird? Is it weird to be in a school? No, like when you moved and stuff. Oh, like in college? Yeah. I don't know. I I think. I was kind of, um, spaced out. Yeah. So I didn't, it didn't feel that strange, no. But I think doing that for a long period of time would be very strange. Because mm. I'm very used to having, like, a very stable situation, and it's like... Right. Everything there is. You live like day to day. You did, yeah. It's it's very bizarre. It's very hard to focus in that environment. Um, triathlon. What? I used to watch triathlons. Hmm. It's a fun sport. Um. Okay, well. Alright, yeah, we, I think I'm gonna head out. Now. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Thanks for jumping on. Um, yeah, no problem. Um, if if um if anybody has some questions. Oh, this is interesting. Like, Cubing chess Tetris triathlon. Ooh. I would dominate that one. <laughs> oh, would you? Yeah. I would dominate. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Who else, who else who else is like decently good at all three i i know there's there's yeah no nobody else is good at all three is brendan Downs good at chess no i don't know i guess i just have to learn how to play chess and tetris yeah i feel like i feel like tetris could be something i could get into easily oh yeah for sure but i think cubing helps a lot check 
I, I, I mean, I saw this description. Like, my dad was telling me he was watching a, a Tetris documentary about the making of the game. And apparently yeah. when they were shopping it around to the different companies, they were describing it as a Rubik's Cube-like video game. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's 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 exactly the same. <laughs> All right, but like back to my back to what I was saying. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, try to like hit me up on Instagram or. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing I'm on. Uh, All right, do that. Check out my coaching service. Uh, yep. but yeah, thank you, thank you for having me on. All right. All right. See you. Okay, everyone. So um, that was that was fun. Good to have Patrick on. Thanks to Langston for the one thousand bits. Uh, really appreciate the support. And Langston, are you gonna go live soon? Cause I can uh, I can send you a raid. I don't know if you were gonna go live tonight. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the uh, this. <laughs> don't worry, I'll spam Messenger. Yeah, so you're going live now? All right, guys, so I, I'm going to send you over to Langston. Langston is a very chill streamer. Uh, he usually streams from late until morning. Uh, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy Langston's stream. He's definitely a chill cuber. He's going to hang out with you guys. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed today's today's uh, analysis and conversation with Patrick about the uh, CN challenge and the, everything. Really, we just discussed lots of things. Uh, so yeah.